Family, what's good? It's your boy. I'm back again. I did it, family. Yes, I did something that I said I would never ever do. I even advised you guys not to do it, but I went and did it myself. <sighs> family, I did a blind buy. I did. I I had to. Lately, with the house of Zerzov, it's just been captivating to me, just like drawing me in. And this fragrance right here, right here, was very intriguing. Very, very intriguing. I have a few fragrances from Zerzov now, and they were all solid hits. I mean, straight bangers. So I wasn't disappointed on either one of them. But I sampled them first. On this one, no, I didn't sample it, but the notes and then, you know, looked at other YouTubers and got their take on everything. Nobody gave it a bad uh, report or anything like that. It was 10 out of 10, home run hitter, banger, everything. Masculine, all the notes in it that I liked and everything. And uh, yeah, so the fragrance is Udin. Udin from the Shooting Stars collection. We're going to take this journey together. See what it's like, fam. Don't go nowhere. Come right back. Okay, fam, we'll be back. Now, this Udin, I fell in love with it. This is the 50 ml, 1.7 ounces. So I said, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on it, got it. And the reviews it says, Udin by George Off is an aromatic spice fragrance for men. That's what got me, for men. I love that, it's not unisex. So that means it has a lot of masculinity to it, a lot. So that's what we're gonna see, we're gonna see together. Uh, it was launched in 2009, so it's fairly, some, uh, uh, not old, but not new. Uh, citrus, lemon, and grapefruit. Hey, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, rum, rum. Uh, rum and cognac, I told you, I love rum and cognac. Gayak wood, sandalwood, sandalwood, another one of my favorites. Rose, can't go wrong with rose. Can't go wrong with the sweetness. Uh... Vanilla, coffee, hamburgers, and musk. It got some of my favorite, favorite, favorite notes in there. And then some new ones, like uh, coffee. I think I only have one, well, that I know of where coffee is in there. Guy at work, that's almost in everything. Uh, the rum, that's what I'm really, really waiting to see. I hope the rum, the rum, excuse me, the rum lasts throughout it. And so now, let's get to it. This is the packaging that it comes in. Zerzhov presentations are always, always on point. Every one that I have, always on point. And the Shooting Star ones, I believe they have a, a, a meteorite in it or something. Which we're going to see. We're gonna take this journey together. I don't know, the purple box from the Shooting Stars collection. Zerzhov. All right, let's take a peek inside. Okay, fam. You can't go wrong with Zerzhov. Oh, look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And you got the pouch. And inside the pouch, you have your piece of media right now you might can't see it but yeah and all the shooting stars collections you have a media right that comes with Zerzhov that's their own little thing with it, so I like that uh, this is number edition batch number 83304 uh, 888 no 333 
Yeah, that's 833-04333. That's the back. Let's see. I hope you can see it right there. So, presentation is nice. I need to, I done put my fingerprints and everything on it. Sorry, fam. Let's shine it up a little bit for you here. I just love their bottles. You know, their bottles were inspired by uh, um, Egypt. That's what I read that somewhere. He, he got the inspiration from uh, Egypt, the pharaohs and stuff like that. But yeah, that's the bottle. It's absolutely gorgeous. Let's see here. Oh. Oh, fam. Now, when you do a spray, I always say paper sometimes doesn't know justice, especially if it's a blind buy and it's yours. Always spray it on your skin because you're going to be wearing it. You're not going to be walking around with the paper talking about smell this, smell this. No, you're going to be wearing it. Spray it on your skin. So let's take that journey. Oh, nice, nice spray too. Nice itemizer. All right. In the opening, you get, oh, you get all of the citrus. The grapefruit, the lemon, you get all of that. Ooh, ooh. I don't think I'm gonna be disappointed, fam. Yeah, you get the citrus, you get the lemon. Oh, what did I just purchase? Oh, nosegasm. Mm, yes. Now, we gotta wait for the dry down. That's where all a really, really good fragrance, the magic happens in the dry down. When the dry down comes, because that's going to be with you throughout the day. Not the opening, but the dry down. So let's see if that vanilla, I want to see the rum. The rum mixed with that rose. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's not bad at all. So, family, in the opening, I give it a 10 out of 10. Presentation, 10 out of 10. You have your media right, 10 out of 10. Now, even though this came out in 2009, it's a new purchase for me, okay? So, this is a release of 2022, all right? Because it's new to me. Like I said, I, I was waiting to pull the trigger on it. Did a blind buy, and that was simply from me doing research. So, I have to recant my statement on blind buys. If you're going to do a blind buy, do some heavy, heavy research on it. Heavy research on it because it's your money. Especially if it's an expensive fragrance like this. Judge off, they don't come cheap. If it's an expensive fragrance, do your research on it because once you purchase it and you open that package, there's no return. No return, so you're stuck with it. Only thing you could probably do is give it away as a gift if you're not happy with it. But why? Keep it. Wear it anyhow. You purchased it, it's yours. Wear it. Live on it. Oh, family. Family, family, family. This is really nice. This is really, really, really nice. Now, George off, he's it's it's uh it's 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 doing something here now. It's doing something. I I like because um, like I said, I'm gonna do a my favorite top. Mm, I was gonna do a top ten judge off, but no, I'm not gonna do it. We're gonna do a top five. We're gonna do a top five of my favorite judge offs. That's gonna be coming real soon. And it looks like we're one of the five that I already have might be getting kicked out. You know, somebody might be getting voted off the island. Oh man, this is absolutely lovely. Really. This, now, the Shooting Stars collection and the Join the Club collection, those are my two favorite uh, collections from Zherzhov. The Shooting Star collection, they have some true bangers. I mean, true, 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 true bangers. I love them all. So what we're going to do, family, is we're going to let this dry down. We're going to come back in a short bit, tell you what it's like. If it's still holding tough, if it's still riding with me, because I only did two sprays. Like I say, I'm an overspray. 
But I only did two sprays on the hand. And if you can see, look at the glow. So you know that's some good juice. You see, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I hope you can look at the glow on that. That's some good juice. It's still there. Yeah, it's like baby oil. When you spray a fragrance on you, and you can see that shine, hey, that's really good right there. So, fam, like I said, we're gonna let this dry down. I'm gonna come back at you, and we're gonna keep it moving with that and give you my thoughts on it. What I think, the opening, banger. Presentation, banger. Let's see what the dry down is and how the longevity goes with two sprays. Be right back, fam. Okay, family, we're back. We let it dry down a little bit. And yeah, you can you can pick you can pick the rum up. The vanilla is slightly, the sandalwood is slightly. The citrus stays with it. I'm I citrus normally stay with whatever fragrance has citrus and it normally just lasts throughout the entire uh completion of the fragrance. So the citrus is still with it. The rum, that's what I was waiting on. I was at the bus stop just sitting and waiting and waiting and waiting. The rum really never showed up. Or maybe I've missed it or something, you know? Didn't have enough fare. I don't know. I'm not getting the rum. Uh, a little bit. I'm getting the rum a little bit, but not. I, I'm getting the citrus. I'm getting the woody notes. Got the, the vanilla. A little powdery. It is warm and spicy. That, I will say, is warm and spicy. Uh... It's fresh. The color. Oh, wait. 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 Hold on. Back up the truck. Back the truck up. Here it is. Here it is. Now, I waited about an hour. I waited about an hour. Yeah. I must not have been sniffing in the right spot. Remember, don't take one sniff. Take two. It's there. I see it. I smell it. Okay. Yeah, the citrus cut does kind of fade out a little bit, but it's still there. Then that rum kicks in with the coffee. The vanilla is there, but slightly. It's not too sweet. Uh, the guyac wood, the oud, that's that's there a little bit, a little bit, not too much. But yeah, this overall family, I would say this is a well, a well done fragrance. A well done fragrance. Judge Off has always done, the Shooting Stars collection has always been excellent. Always. In my book. It's always been excellent. I've been very, very pleased with it. Um, so, I rate this a, a 9 out of 10. And I'm going to say a 9 out of 10 because it is not as potent as I thought it was going to be with the rum the uh, Gayak wood and the coffee it's more light and powdery than it is uh, warm and spicy the warm and spicy is there but as it dry down the powdery more takes over somewhat seems like but I only did two sprays mind you now I'm over spray I will have to see again after I wear it on clothes and get some heat on it or whatever get out in the, get out in the elements and see how it uh, interacts with that or whatever but like I said, I give it a 9 out of 10. Still an excellent fragrance presentation. Beautiful. Judge Off always has good presentations, in my opinion, for their uh, fragrances. Uh, the, the scent itself, superb. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. You won't be disappointed. Um, came out in 2009, so it's been around a minute, and it's still going strong, so that should tell you something. Uh, it's going to run you the mid to upper twos, depending on where you go. So you're going you're gonna to spend a little bit, but that's still not bad compared to some fragrances uh, prices. Whatever. Once again, you know, pr fragrance prices are going up. So whatever you got your eye on, better pull the trigger on it now because within uh, probably next month or so, they're going to be going up again. If not, if they haven't already gone up. But yeah, this is a really good fragrance, family. So... That's my take on Zhuzhov's Uden from the Shooting Stars collection. I say it's a beautiful fragrance. I say if you purchase it, you won't be disappointed. It's masculine, all the way masculine. I, I will give them that. Um, women, no, you can't. 
you can't rock this one, not this one. You need to stick with uh, probably like La Capitale or one of the fragrances for women from the George Off I came out with. And he has some very, very nice fragrances that are uh, for, 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 that are feminine, really. So, all right, family. Once again, 2009, run you about mid to upper twos. Um, very, very nice fragrance. The opening, you got the citrus, all the citrus there, right there, potent, boom, that's all you smell. The dry down. The um, the sweetness start to kick in, and then in the closing, the the rum and the coffee comes in, you know, real light and faint. But that was like I said, it was only with two sprays. I only did two sprays, and yeah, it, it's and then the warm and spicy. The citrus kind of fades out, and the warm and spicy, you know, brings up the rear, and it sticks there. And yeah, Netflix and chill moment right there. Nice fragrance. Okay, family, that's my time. We gotta get out of here. I'm, uh, hmm. I guess I'm gonna do another video. Maybe. I don't know. It's late. So, until the next one, family. Peace.